Google Reader is a great tool for aggregating all the different websites and RSS feeds together into one place. This allows you to quickly read a lot of news and articles that you may want to browse so that you can find topics for your social media sites. It's pretty easy to use. I'm already in my Google email account, my Gmail account. If you already have a Gmail account, you're already set up to use Reader. I look at the top of my Gmail account, I can go under More and down to where it says Reader. The more you use Reader after a few times, it will appear up here on the list. Uh, so More and Reader. Google Reader is, is pretty straightforward in how it's organized. All your subscriptions are located on the left hand side here and by default we're generally looking at all items. All the stories from the various sites you've subscribed to are listed here. They are updated in real time. Within a few minutes of a site listing a new story, Google Reader will have it listed here. There's two views that you can use when looking at the stories. This is the condensed view that's just showing you the titles of the story. To see more, you can click on the title and it will drop down and show you the first paragraph and sometimes the picture. If you want to be in that view all the time, we can go up and click the list view button, excuse me, the expanded view button, and that will show you that view all the time. Every story has a few options on it. You'll notice there's a star at below each story and next to the title. This allows you to mark this as a, a favorite. And you can mark stories as you're quickly going through them to come back and read those specific stories later or to save them for a later date. So for example, maybe you're cruising through looking for things to write about uh, in your social media sites, you could star the ones that are of interest to you that you're going to talk about at a later date. If you look on the left hand side of the screen in the menu, you can bring up just the items you've starred by using the starred items listing. The other thing you can do is you can share the items. You can put them right to your Google Plus website or you can email these stories to other people. That's really handy. Uh, if you're like me and you like to share important stories with other people on your different lists. Using Google Reader, as far as loading up the different sites that you may want to watch, uh, is pretty easy. So uh, there's a big red subscribe button. First way I can use this is just to type in the website I want to follow. So I can go in here and I can type in uh, www. Uh, uh, let's go time.com and when I click enter it'll find the RSS feed for that site. If I don't have a particular site in mind but I have a topic I can hit the subscribe button in and use the search feature of the subscribe button. So maybe I'm interested in advertising and I can type advertising and when I click add Google Reader is going to bring a, a list of all the different RSS, RSS feeds and website it, sites it finds related to advertising. Now before you subscribe to something there's a couple things you want to look at. I'm going to go and look at two things. One, how many posts per week and how many subscribers. What you don't want is a site that has so few posts that you're not going to get anything out of it or that has so few subscribers there's no conversations going on. So for example, this site only has 0.9 posts a week. It's almost not worth your time because there's nothing going on in this site. Also remember that n not only are new sites have RSS feeds, but that these could be feeds off of discussion boards, bulletin boards, and other um, user-driven sites as well. Once you find the one you want to subscribe to, you can click subscribe, and it's added to your list on the left-hand side of the screen. 
Now you can view these sites by going to All Items, or you can view any of your subscriptions by clicking on the name. That way you're just viewing those items from that subscription. One of the cool things about Google Reader is you, it gives you help um, uh, related to whether you should be watching that site or not. We can go ahead and go Trends and see which sites we're using, uh, how many articles are popping up, and how many we're actually reading. If we find a site that we're not using or no longer would like to subscribe to, we can go over here and just say unsubscribe. So we can use the trends to trim the reading habits uh, of what we're reading and keep the list of subscriptions very accurate. The Google Reader is my secret weapon for doing social media. From my Google Reader, I can scan through hundreds of articles a day to find the three or four that I want to post on my various social media sites. It's a very important tool and one that many people don't know about. That's all there is to it. Thank you.